Uh, press ups are really important uh, in rugby for our training. It's practice getting off the floor, practice hand offs, like upper body strength is a really important part. So if Kat goes down, you've got a nice straight back, switching the core arm, and if she takes it down, keeping that neck nice and long, up and down. If you need to make that easy, you can go onto your knees, but you keep that flat back and straight neck, and just go down to the ground and then back up. Kay's a winger, um, she's going to be demonstrating the squat. So she's got feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward. As she squats down, her knee is going to come to the tip of her toe, but not over the top. Um, she's got a nice flat back there. Um, and as you can see, she's sitting back as if she's sitting back into a chair, which is really good. Kay's a winger, so she needs loads of explosive strength and power when she's sprinting down the wing. Um, also really good for lower limb strength as well. Um, Kay can get low in the tackle when she's faced with opposition. So it's good exercise for Kay. George is a scrum half and um, lunging is really important. When she approaches a breakdown stuff, she's got to get into a low position so she can pass the ball and things like scrums and stuff. When George does this lunge, she needs to really make sure that her knee stays parallel with her foot and it does, the foot doesn't collapse in. This also is really good as it prevents the things like knee injuries and um, things like this. The lunge is also really good because it works your glutes, your quads and your hamstrings, which obviously all rugby players need when they play rugby. For those of you that maybe have knee injuries and starting at a low level, um, things that we can think about is just starting with a split squat. Starting in this position, chest up, nice flat back, and we're just going to drop into it like this and making sure that the knee doesn't, the foot doesn't collapse and the knee doesn't collapse over as well. Today we're going to be looking at Russian twists. It's a really good core strength exercise and it's good in rugby because when you're passing, uh, when you're tackling, I mean all strength essentially comes from the core so if you've got that sorted everything else can fall into place quite nicely. Okay so to start we're just going to take our feet off the floor, core on, making sure her back is nice and flat in that position there and she's just going to tap the ball slowly to start with side to side. Okay, as you get more comfortable doing that, she can build up the, uh, the speed. You can do this for time or you can do this for reps, okay? And if you've got a friend, okay, you can do a couple and then pause at the top, okay? Your mate can do a couple, pause, and then go again. So it's a really nice exercise. 